Namaskar. So I hope you are in best of your health at the moment. Let's solve this uh, question from partial differential equation. So we have to form partial differential equation by eliminating the arbitrary constant. Okay. So as usual, let's mark this as equation number one. What is our first step? Our first step is to partially differentiate with respect to x, taking y as constant. So partially differentiate with respect to x taking y as constant. So you will get 2x. Now because y is constant, so y square is also constant, so its derivative is 0 equals to. Here you will use the chain rule, so 2 times z minus c and uh, derivative of uh, z minus c is simply del z by del x. Okay. Uh, this tan square alpha remains as it is. So you are getting 2x. Uh, we can always try to make this a bit simpler. First by eliminating this 2. So you are getting x to be equal to z minus c del z by del x is p times 10 square alpha. So one thing uh, I must say is looking good that we have got the value of z minus c 10 square alpha. We may write this as x, x uh, divided by p. I don't know that whether x divided by p will be used or any other format, but let's for the time being write like this z minus t and 10 square alpha. Now again, partially differentiate with respect to y. Taking x as constant, so you will get uh, x square derivative is 0, you will get 2y equals to z minus c 2 times and del z by del y n square alpha. So 2y can again cancel. So we are getting y equals to z minus c times q tan square alpha. Uh, I again write y by q to be equal to z minus c tan square alpha. Now, z minus c tan square alpha. Find z minus c tan square alpha from equation number 2 and equation number 3. You are getting them to be equal to same quantity uh, is equal to x by p and y by q in the other case. So, what we can do uh, with them? We can equate them simply. It's uh, not always important to go back to equation number 1 as I say from time to time. So from 2 and 3. x by p is equal to y by q cross so qx equals to py or qx minus py equals to 0.
fine you would have done it uh, the other way also uh, that py minus qx equals to 0 but that doesn't matter that's just a matter of uh, minus sign which can always be dumped in the RHS because RHS is 0 so again it was a simple question partially differentiate with respect to x get something at least to think ahead again partially differentiate with respect to y in this question we saw that RHS in both the case was equal so we equated the LHS portion got an equation which was qx minus py equals to 0 I hope you understood it. Thanks and have a nice day.